What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So I'll get right to it. Today we're going to be working on my 2021 Harley Davidson Road Glide Special. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is replacing the clutch and brake lever with uh, some shorty levers from Flow Motorsports. So if that's what's bringing you to this video today, make sure to stick around and uh, I'll show you kind of some differences from the stock levers to these Flow Motorsports uh, shorty adjustable levers, as well as a full detailed installation video. So without further ado, let's go check them out. All right, so right here, I got my Flow Motorsports uh, shorty levers for the 2021 Harley Davidson Road Glide or Touring models. As you can see, thank you from the Flow Motorsports crew. You get some detailed instructions, a little hardware pack. These I picked up at Get Lowered Cycles. Uh, they are pretty local. They're about like an hour, hour and a half away from me down in Warminster, Pennsylvania. And then we get the levers themselves. This is the clutch side. As you can see, they are about like a two, three finger, depending how fat your fingers are. And then you have an adjustable lever to kind of bring the lever closer or further away um, to kind of get it to where you'd like it. And then we have the brake side. So enough of that, let's go check out the bike and what you will need for the install. Okay, so looking at my road glide here, obviously I have these Memphis Shade hand guards. Um, these are gonna have to come off um, because you're gonna have to get the clutch cable out of the front there and uh, that's gonna just kind of be in the way. Obviously, if you don't have these, um, you can skip that step, but that is something that I'm gonna have to do. So that will be first things first. So let me uh, go try to find what size socket I need and get these removed and I'll pick it up from there. Okay, real quick, before I go take these off I just want to get a quick measurement kind of see how long the lever is there uh, a little more than five and a half inches there um, as far as length about two inches from the most narrow point and then about four and three quarters from the furthest point um, from the clutch lever to the hand grip so you got to see the measurements from the more narrow side and the uh, the further side. Uh, I just want to get those measurements real quick and then we'll check them once we get the new levers on. So I got my Memphis Shade hand guards off and if you're wondering what the uh, acorn nut size was uh, for the mirror, it was a half inch. Um, kind of always forget, forget things sometimes. Nonetheless, so I'm going to work on the clutch side first. Um, so we're going to have to do two things. One, we're going to have to put slack in the clutch cable. Um, we'll get to that here in a second. But the second order of business, I want to show you before I get this back up on a tripod. Um, you're going to have this little clip right there. Um, that's going to have to come off. You get the pin out for the lever. You can have the snap ring pliers that have the little nubs on the end with the attachments to take those off. Um, if you have a very good pair, they work tremendous. Um, if you have just a cheap Harbor Freight pair like I have, um, sometimes you're just better off getting a small flat tip screwdriver in there and just popping it off. So you're gonna have that clip on both sides as you can see there. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and remove those clips. And then like I said, you're gonna wanna put slack in the clutch cable, which if you're on a 2021 and newer bike, like mine, you can just kind of pop this off. You slide this boot up, and then uh, you just get a flat tip in here, pop this clip out, and then uh, I have a video on this. Now, if you have a older bike, I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this because we're kind of in the dark. If you have a older bike, um, I'm talking pre-2014, because remember, 2014 to 2020 had hydraulic clutches, um, but if you had a bike before uh, 2014, 
you're gonna have a cable clutch with the old adjustment um, I don't want to pull this boot off because it's a pain in the butt to get back on but you're gonna have to take some wrenches break it free and put slack in the cable that way real quick wanted to show you both ways um, that's where you would find your clutch cable to put slack in the cable to change out the lever unfortunately that boots a pain in the butt to get off nonetheless let's get back to the 21 style and I'll show you how to put slack in it. Okay, so if you're working with a 21 or newer like me, I just take a real small flat tip, pop that clip out, as you see, um, popped out. We're gonna take the cable, push down in, and just push that red tab back in. That's gonna put slack in our cable. If we check our cable, you can see we have slack. So these are the pliers I'm talking about, a pair of snap ring pliers. I don't even have an attachment that's small enough for those clips. Um, so like I said earlier, I'm just gonna have to use a small flat tip. I'd love to try to show you guys, but unfortunately I can't get the camera in here and work at the same time. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, so I got the clip off. Actually, I didn't even think of this. Maybe it'll work better on the other side. So what I did is there really wasn't any purchase point to get the flat tip in. So what I did is I pushed the pin down. Um, obviously it's pushed down now, so you won't see. But I pushed it down a little bit and I was able to get the flat tip right in there and pop the clip right off. So now we'll have to just pop this pin out. Make sure you save it. Now the clutch cable. So we have to pull the cable out where it's just the cable. And we're just gonna work this right out. This top pin just pulls out. You can remove the clutch cable and we can install the new pair. Also, while we have the clutch cable out, might be a good idea just to drop some uh, Harley lube down in there and re-lubricate your clutch cable. So real quick, just a side-by-side -side comparison of the new versus the old. As you can see, big difference in size. So according to their instructions, we're gonna put that spring in like so, and then insert this collar down in like so. Matches the picture? I hope so. I'm just gonna install that collar on the brake side right away. Um, it's pretty simple. You can see it's kind of beveled at the top. That's beveled in there. Just drop it right in. So back over at the bike, I got some of my Harley lube, put a couple drops down in there. That's all you need. It'll eventually work its way down there. I can take my clutch cable, and we're using that plastic piece. Wiggle that down, and as you see there, there's a little notch, and on the bottom of the plastic pin, a little notch so you really can't mess that up once it seats properly should be flush like shown and then we can just kind of ease this back in there and that pins being a pain in the butt so let me get a flashlight and try to line it up off camera all right so you guys might be wondering how we got here well I had to take the pinch clamp off because this spring I thought I could be slick and just get that spring inside that little uh, hole in there but uh i had to do all this um because the spring just did not want to participate um that was a huge pain in the ass so i had to obviously take off the pinch clamp on the handlebars to get it on i got the pin on now i just gotta just get this back on which these go on a lot easier than they come off that clutch lever is installed um, we can go readjust our clutch cable and take the slack back out so back down here at the clutch cable just pop the red clip out again um, as you can see the clutch cable sprung out and we're gonna keep it there and then we can just lock it back up 
So what is up guys? Uh, I'm just picking back up here. It is the next day. I got a late start on it yesterday and surprisingly that little spring kind of just took up the rest of my time. Yesterday was just a big cluster from work through the nighttime and um, I was just kind of mentally burnt out. Um, so let's check out this lever. So I got the clutch lever on. Um, something to note, the little safety, um, the safety switch for your clutch, the little gray button. Um, if you have an older bike, it's like, I believe it's just a black plunger. Uh, what that does is it allows you to start the bike in gear with your clutch in. Um, obviously, hence clutch in because uh, you don't want the bike to just take off on you and fall over. So... The problem is with these aftermarket levers, even though they have like the same kind of little like curvage or lip on them as the Harley levers do, it doesn't quite engage if you have the lever adjusted all the way back to your liking, or at least my liking. Um, for it to engage, you have to have the lever adjusted all the way out. Um, but I kind of just came up with a little home remedy um, I believe it should be safe. I don't see why not. Uh, I just started the bike up in gear just to make sure my trial home remedy worked because obviously if I am on the road and for whatever reason, I know we're all perfect, but for whatever reason I would stall the bike and I'm in traffic on a hill or something and if that switch isn't making, I won't be able to start the bike unless I put it back in neutral, which I would get run the over, if you know what I'm saying. So that is definitely a need, in my opinion. Okay, so what I was talking about earlier is you can kind of adjust the lever, and then there's the little set screw that comes out. If you have the lever adjusted all the way out, and you pull the clutch in, it will engage. The gray switch it's hard to see it now um, but obviously I got these because I wanted the shorty levers and I wanted the adjustability so I had to come up with a little fix here I found some old weather molding or weather stripping that I had um, it's black it's rubber as you can see there it's not gonna kind of mess anything up pretty unnoticeable unless you know to go look for it it was two-faced tape. I kind of just stuck it in there just to make up the difference to kind of shim it up so that little plunger catches. Um, if you guys run aftermarket levers and you thought of something that's better than that weather stripping, leave a comment down below. Um, yesterday, like I said, my brain was a little toasted. Um, I kind of just looked around the garage real quick. Maybe I'll come up with something better in the future. I'm not sure yet. But just be aware of that if you're putting on aftermarket levers, at least on the newer cable clutch bikes. And I'm sure the uh, hydraulic clutches, it's been a while since I looked at one, be kind of the same. You got to make sure that switch engages um, so that way you can start the bike in gear. I didn't really think anything of it until I had this issue. And then today at work when I had some free time, I did some research and I... It's obviously a common problem with aftermarket levers, so I'm just throwing that out there as that's how I'm going to take care of this situation for now. So hopefully that might help one of you guys. This side is all done. I just got to put my mirror and my handguard back on, and we got to tackle the right side of the bike. So uh, I'm going to fast forward loosening up the perch and the control housing. Um, you're going to want to use some caution getting this off because there again, there is a switch for the brake light. Make sure you don't break that because that is a expensive fix. We have that little clip we got to pop off, pull the pin, and uh, swap out the lever. So, so obviously the right side, I just kind of banged it out, got it done. Um, pretty much the same as the clutch side. You just got to be wary of the brake sensor. Um, you don't want to break that. Like I said before, it is very expensive. The right side is just a little bit more complicated because I have my phone mount and all that stuff on, and I don't have a second pair of hands. Um, so I had to kind of multitask, and I would have been blocking the entire camera 
the entire time, so I don't think that would have been fun to watch, but uh, let's check out this finished product. All right, so as you can see here, I got the brake lever on. I already checked it to make sure the brake light switch is working good and all is well. So the right side, I didn't have any issues with, um, you know, making the sensor or whatnot, as opposed to the clutch side. I still gotta wipe off all my fingerprints. And then there is the clutch side. Um, like I said earlier, with it making the switch, this screw I'm just leaving out just a little bit just to make sure it grabs in the event that if I do stall the bike, I won't have any issues um, restarting the bike. But like I said, my home remedy so far has worked with starting the bike and gear with the clutch in. So that is the flow. Uh, shorty lever install for a 2021 Harley Davidson Road Glide. The install should be very similar for any of the newer bikes. Um, real quick, I don't quite remember what the measurements were when we first started, but I'll kind of just throw the tape measure there again. So from the tip to the grip, they're about there. And then from the inside to the grip, you're about there kind of hard to see holding the camera and doing this by myself and I don't remember if I showed you the brake side or not but there's your measurement and there's your measurement so yeah that's the flow motorsports uh, shorty levers a uh, shorty adjustable levers rather for your newer touring bike with the cable clutch try to show you guys the installation as best as I could some areas your hands just get a little occupied kind of holding parts in place um, but overall it's not that hard whatsoever so I'm gonna give this install a 7 out of 10 and the only reason it's a 7 out of 10 is because I had to do a little extra work to make that clutch sensor work but like I said before that's just something to know if you're gonna buy these levers I'm not sure if the longer levers have the same issue or not. Something worth noting because you are paying, you know, like 150 bucks for these levers. So you would expect them to function exactly how the stock levers from Harley would. But there again, it is aftermarket and we know how aftermarket uh, parts work sometimes. Sometimes they don't fit 1000% right. And sometimes you got to tweak things here or there. Like I said earlier, if you guys had to shim up your clutch lever at all, comment down below what you did. I'm curious to see uh, how many of you guys thought outside the box to correct that issue. But if you made it this far in the video, make sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon. So that way you guys get notified when I post new videos like this one. Make sure to ride safe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.